In Folderit, you can share any resource, a file, a folder, the main section, or your whole account. The account you first registered is the main account in your organization. The subscription will be tied to that user. And it is also the first administrator, of course. To add users, locate the admin tools on the lower left corner and choose Manage Users. Now you can either start adding users by clicking on the plus user button or enforce your own password policy first if you need to. Click on the button and choose how long your team members' passwords need to be, how often they are forced to pick a new password and other details. Click Save when you are done. Now click on the plus user button. You need to add a person's email address, which will also be their username. You can add the person's name, last name, and position in your organization too. As you can see, you do not choose a password for the user. The user receives an email now with your invitation. There's a link in it which they need to click to choose their own password. That is the only field they need to fill in themselves. If they now log in for the first time, they will only see one resource by default. This is the team folder. The new user you add needs to see something when they log in, even if nothing else has been shared to them. That's what the team folder is for. Like any folder, you can rename it to anything you like, and you can leave it empty if you want to. Or perhaps keep your organization's policies, event galleries, or visual identity materials in it that everyone in your team needs to access anyway. So, now you have some users in your system, but they can only access the team folder. Yet, you want to give them access to some other handpicked resources. You can grant access to any resource, a single file, a folder, main section, or even your whole account, creating other administrators. Let's say we want to give Dennis access to folder Client A that is under the main section Clients. Click on the Share button. A modal opens. Choose a person or a user group that needs to access this resource. Choose the permission level that they need to have for this Client A folder. Upload only permission gives the user or user group access to the folder and only add files, not to see anything in the folder. Preview only permission allows seeing everything, but only as an in-system preview, not to download, print, or copy anything from the documents. Viewer permission allows downloading, previewing, and printing. Editor permission is full access in the folder to do anything the user needs. Every access you grant can be set to auto-expire on your chosen date and time if needed. There you go. Now Dennis has full access in the folder Client A, but he cannot see any other resources, not even the parent folder's name where the Client A folder is located in. You can add more users or user groups to this resource, all with different permission levels and access expiration settings. Additionally, you can activate a public link when sharing a file or a folder. This way, anyone who knows this unique link can access the file or folder without the need to register at Folderit. There are two permission levels available for a public link, preview only or download. If you want to give access to any of the main sections, just hover your mouse over it, click on the settings icon that appears and choose share from there. The familiar modal appears and you can give people access the same way as with any folder. If you need to give someone access to everything you have, creating another administrator, go to Admin Tools, click on More Tools, and then Share. This is account level sharing. Giving someone editor permission on that level will make them administrators of your document management system. They can access all data and use the admin tools like you can. To set up user groups, head to Admin Tools, Manage User Groups, click on Plus Group and give the group a name. Then click Add Member to add the first member to the group. Repeat to add more members. If you're ever in doubt on who can access your organization's account, locate Admin Tools, click on More Tools, and then Access Overview. This view lists everyone who has any access to your account and all the public links anyone has activated, with an easy way to turn them off if you decide so. If you click on a person, you can see exactly which resources are available for them and even why. You can see to this user specifically 
these resources have been shared. And because he is a member of some user groups, he also has these resources shared to those groups. And since we have added him as our team member, he has access to the team folder of course. If you think something shouldn't be accessible to the user after all, you can remove their access from the sharing modal or from right here too. And if the person leaves your company and you need to cut away their access completely, head to Manage Users, click on the settings icon on the right and pick Remove Access. That's it. This is how access management works in Folderit Document Management System.